the silliest bird I've ever seen. It works! It works! <laughs> oh, no! No! Ah! Oh, sorry about that! Phew! Ah. Darn it! Oops! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do that! Wow! A real whippoorwill! Greetings! How are you today? Come on, Apple Pie! I want to take a closer look! Well, that wasn't very smooth, was it? But at least you weren't hurt, right? Hmm. My name is Eddie Edison, inventor. A pleasure. I'm Baby Bloxburg, Junior Witch. Ha! I've heard quite a lot about you. I've heard about you, too. You're famous. Ah, uh, well, you could say that. Ah, please, call me Eddie if you'd like. Join me for a picnic? There! Wow! That's really fantastic, Eddie! My smaller inventions all seem to work, but flying... I thought you were flying pretty good! <laughs> oh, thanks! <laughs> Would you like me to use a spell to help you? That's all right. I have to learn to do it myself. Hey, your newspaper! Hmm? Oh, what oh! What do you see? Here! That is so awesome! The amazing flying race! First prize is the golden propeller! A flying race? <laughs> that gold propeller will be ours, right, buddy? Eeny, meeny, play. Kawakazi, speed away! Whiz, whiz! Huh? Whoa, hey! It's, it's a, a deal. deal! And I'll fly with you! That sounds great! Ah, the golden propeller! That would be the crowning glory of my invention. But you know, I really don't think I've got much of a chance. You never know if I win the golden propeller. Hmm? Hey! Oh. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Look out! <laughs> hey. Baron Blunderbuss! Just you wait! Mm. Hold tight, Eddie. We need to catch up. Follow him, Apple Pie. Tally-ho! Oh, Miss Bloxburg, practicing for the amazing race, are we? Very wonderful! Please, you can call me winner of the golden propeller, if it's all the same to you. How come? Well, my dear child, tell me now, who else is going to win the golden propeller? Well, it could be Eddie Edison, or me and Apple Pie. Him? Never! <laughs> and you! You have no chance with that silly broom! <laughs> oh! <laughs> and you better not forget to ask your mommy if you're allowed to take part! Just you wait! Bloxburg residence. Hello, Mrs. Bloxburg! Ah, Ms. Karamba, it's you. What can I do for you today? I was just thinking. Since you're a flying expert, so to speak, and we're having an amazing flying race in a few days, I was wondering if you'd like to be an honorary judge to start the race for us. Can I count on you, hmm? I'd be more than happy to. Thank you. No, thank you. So toodaloo hoo you. Bebe, dear, I'm not even sure if witches and their broomsticks are allowed to take part in the flying race. In the flying race? <gasps> of course they are. There's nothing in the rules saying that witches aren't allowed. I hear that your fellow witch, Sheba Wartnose, has entered the race. What? Sheba Wartnose on her Kawakazi broom? What am I going to do? That broom's highly tuned. Who's highly tuned? Sheba's another young witch, and she calls her broom Kawakazi. Apparently, she's made a few technical improvements. Technical improvements? Come on, Kawakazi is a real high-tech broom. It's incredibly fast. I need something amazing like that, too. What? what? Out of the question. We've got more than enough witches' brooms here. Aw, but I won't even have the slightest chance with this one. I'm very sorry, sweetheart, but we've talked about this many times before. These modern brooms don't belong in our family tradition. But Sheba has... Well, you're not Sheba Wartnose, are you? You're B.B. Bloxburg. Yeah, but, but... No more buts. Enough. That's... That's so unfair. You guys just want me to lose. Huh? Uh... 
This is going to be a great story, Eddie. Your name's going to be on everyone's lips. Okay, smile. And one more shot of the proud inventor. So I think that's all we'll need. And I'd just like to wish you all the best in the race. Now this roving reporter has to race all the way back to the office. <laughs> My. Now then, what's all this? For a moment there, I thought I was done for. I'm Woo! very glad you asked, Miss Caramba. That's my automatic catching machine. Sensational! Thanks! Very practical. You'll have to show me what other fancy gizmos you've got here, Eddie. Loads of things, Miss Caramba. Ah, let me start up my soon-to-be-patented Eddie Edison invention presenting machine. <laughs> Fantastic! That's incredible! And that's only the start, Ms. Karumba. Truly phenomenal, Eddie! This is my automatic dressing, shaving, and teeth brushing machine. <laughs> hmm. The razor. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stop! I haven't got a beard. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ms. Karumba. I did invent it for myself after all. But, ah, everybody needs one of these. But... Oh, but, uh, um, uh, 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 that's great. <sighs> the machine makes that mistake sometimes. The toothpaste isn't really supposed to go on shoes. Remarkable, Eddie, remarkable. And I guess people really need these things, don't they? To be honest, not really. But actually winning the golden propeller with my flying machine, that would be the crowning glory of all my inventions. Of course it would, Eddie, of course it would. Ah, uh, just one more question. Tell me, how big is the golden propeller? How big is the propeller? Well, I guess this big. Oh, what's it made of exactly? Gold, of course. What else would it be? Uh, although, and this is just between you and me, I think it's only gold-plated. Shh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Bibikin, so glad you're here. Hello there, Ms. Karamba. I have to remind all the participants, as the rules have clearly stated, all flying machines for the race must be left in the tent on the airfield by this afternoon. No problemo! Why is that? At 4 o'clock, they're going to do their final check, and after that, absolutely nothing else can be changed. Hmm. <sighs> Tell me, what's the matter? I don't think we've got the slightest chance of winning. Neither you nor me. Now, BB. Participating is the most important thing, and you never know. There's always a chance at winning. Not this time. Wait, my mini rockets! Oops! Haha! <laughs> Leftover from an invention. Do they actually work? They certainly do. Come on, let's train a little more. Otherwise, we really won't have a chance. There we go, my little darling. Vroom, vroom! Uh, show us what you're made of. Hey, Grandpa! <laughs> Let me guess, that's about as fast as that old piece of junk goes, right? Cheeky little brat. Now full throttle. <laughs> vroom, vroom, oh. You're no match for my kawakazi. That propeller's mine. <laughs> ha! Hmm. I'll just have to think of a way to beat her. Time to put this in the tent. I'll help you. Thanks, Bibi. No problemo. Hey! That was way too close, Sheba. Not my fault. Either you've got it or you don't, Bloxburg. So what are you gonna fly in the race tomorrow? This! You're joking, right? You won't be laughing when I win tomorrow. Please tell me you're just kidding, Bloxburg. You're a poor excuse for competition. You and your silly old school sweeping brush. You better watch it or I'll sweep you under the carpet. Hey, hey, no fighting girls. Oh, man. Who's the guy with the goofy mustache? Look out! Huh? Make way! <laughs> ah! Ah! Hey, Grandpa. Better make sure your flying garbage can doesn't fall apart. What a mouth on you! None of you has a chance against my kawakazi. Hmm. Don't worry, we'll manage to win somehow, my little fuzzy head. Isn't that sweet? Blech. What do you want? Well, hello, Hope. 
Do you too? It looks like I'm here just in time. Have all the participants registered their flying machines and left them here as per the rules and regulations? Yeah, yes. yeah. You betcha. And my two junior witches. You both know the rules that apply to you, don't you? Yes, we're only allowed to use magic for takeoff and landing. So no huh? casting of spells during the race, right, kiddies? You still don't have a chance, Grandpa. Why, you little... Come on now, Aww. ladies and gentlemen. Nobody may enter the tent from this point on. See you tomorrow. And please be punctual. Ah, oh, baby, don't look so sad. Try to sleep, my darling. But I can't sleep. You're upset about Sheba's broom, aren't you? If I lose tomorrow, everyone will laugh at me. Don't worry, the race hasn't happened yet. And besides, you can't always win. Even if you do lose, that's no reason for people to laugh. Remember, Bibi, no magic tomorrow, which means no cheating. Good night. <laughs> Super power. <laughs> It's locked up tight. <gasps> what the? Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Triple power turbo. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, huh? I better hide. <gasps> I, uh, uh, um. uh, well, I was just here to check on my machine to make sure it would, uh, you know, fly okay tomorrow and stuff. <laughs> Obviously, an emergency precaution. Uh, let's just forget we ever saw each other here, young lady, and tomorrow we'll have a fair race. Uh, what do you say? I didn't really want to come. I can't do it! Chin up, BB. You can do it. Here, I've brought you a present. Oh, thank you, Eddie. That's so nice of you. <laughs> uh. Huh? Hmm. Just a sec. What are these doing in here? You can hide them in your broom tail. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I know it's against the rules, but I thought maybe you'd feel more confident if you had them with you, that's all. Thanks a lot. That's really sweet of you, Eddie. Hold on. I'll give you something to make you feel better, too. Eeny, meeny, pretty flower. Please give Eddie petal power. Whiz, whiz. Here. Thanks, BB. Maybe I will need it. Your attention, please. All participants in the race for the golden propeller are asked to the starting line now. The turning point will be at the towers of Concord Castle at the entrance to Newtown. And I personally wish all the racers the best of luck. Phoebe, go get them! Thank you, Dad! Are you having trouble? Ha! Don't worry about me, Bloxburg. Kawakazi is just snickering at your apple pudding. Oh, uh, calm down, Kawa. That broom probably flies as badly as it looks. Hey! <laughs> Good luck with the race, darling. Thank you, Mom. And <gasps> you too, Apple Pie. <gasps> what is that? Uh, Phoebe, how could you? That kind of thing is against the rules. But the rockets are only there to give me a little extra boost. Of course they are. Uh, I'm sorry, but oh. I'm very disappointed in you, Bibi. I'm afraid to say I'm going to have to disqualify Aww. you from the race for this. Come on, Mom. Don't do that. It was a present from Eddie. Attention! Would all contestants please report to the starting line? Hmm. Mommy, please don't. B 
Phoebe, you seem to have forgotten that I am the judge today. I repeat! All contestants to the starting line immediately! I promise I won't even use the rockets, Mom, please! We have to start now! Do you swear on your witch's word of honor? I swear on my witch's word of honor! All right. <sighs> Off you go to the starting line, then. Thanks, Mom! Love you! All clear? As far as I can see, all clear! Referee Barbara Blocksburg, in the name of the Newtown Press, please fire! The starting shot. Ready? On your mark? Get set? Eeny, meeny, my. Let's go, Apple Pie! Whiz, whiz! Go! All right! Yeah! <sighs> I'll be waiting for you lamos at the finish line with a fresh pot of coffee. <laughs> huh? Eddie! <laughs> this is a fighting race, Eddie, not a pack race! Come on! <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, BB. You know, I was just about to take a drink from that bottle of yours. <laughs> a helping hand, ladies and gentlemen, from the town's well-known junior witch, BB Blocksburg. But the gesture may have cost her a little time. At the moment, she finds herself in third place. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> There's no doubt the crowd's sympathies are with local personality inventor Eddie Edison, who it seems has fallen far behind. Bibi <sighs> Blossomberg appears to be having some trouble, too, but there's definitely an exciting showdown taking place for the lead. Sheba Wartnose and Baron Blunderbuss are neck and neck. In a few minutes, they'll reach the turning point at the Towers of Concord Castle. Huh? Hey, Grandpa, can't go any faster, huh? I'm gonna speed up even more at the turn. You'll see. Really? I guess you've never heard of superpower, have you, my dear? Well, today you get a glimpse. I look forward to seeing you again, Miss Witch. For now, I bid you adieu. Oh, you'll be seeing me sooner than you think, Grandpa. Have you ever heard of Super Turbo? <laughs> See ya! How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Look at those two go! It seems as though Sheba and the Baron have been holding back! Sensational! I think they're cheating. What they're doing isn't fair at all. I don't think this is a fair competition, Bernard. We should never have let Bibi take part in it. Oh, I had a feeling this would happen. Poor Eddie needs a little boost. Eddie! Drink some of the juice! It'll help, really! Sure thing! Oh, darn it! Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. If I didn't see it for myself, I'd definitely have to invent it! Ah. Hey there, Bibi! Wow! That's amazing, Eddie! Whoa. Did you do this? No! I'm not allowed to do magic! Okay! I think I can manage. Thanks, little birdies. You've been a tremendous help. It was very kind of you. Bye! Ah. You know flying fast is never enough. You've got to be intelligent like me, my dear. <laughs> Whoa. 
Hmm? No, no, no! <gasps> the Baron's in trouble! What should I do? Help! Help! Mommy! Ladies and gentlemen, Baron Blunderboss is in. I'm going to crash! I'm speechless. I honestly don't know what to say. Is that a special oh. maneuver? Ah. An emergency spell. Eeny, meeny, big, big trouble. Like the rockets on the double. Win, win! <laughs> hey, Baron! Let go and jump onto my broom! No! Wait. Jump onto your broom! I can't do it! It's okay! Don't be afraid! Good! Thank you! Bravo, Bibi Blocksburg! I have to say that's the most sensational flying display I've ever Seen. I'm truly at a loss for words. How can I ever repay you, BB Bluxburg? No problem. But now we should probably go rescue Sheba. Bravo, BB. Try using Eeny Meeny Pop, then Wind and Rain. Eeny Meeny Pop. Turn the plane right side up. Eeny Meeny Wind and Rain. Sheba fall into the plane. Eeny Meeny lost and found. Airplane come back to the ground. Whiz, whiz. Bloxburg. Your BBkins is a real sensation, Mrs. Bloxburg. But unfortunately, she's disqualified. What? She used magic during the contest. That's not allowed. But Barbara, our daughter just saved two people. That's right, Bernard, but rules are rules. I guess. So who's the winner then? <laughs> Congratulations, Eddie. Nice work with the emergency spell, BB. I'm really sorry, Mom. I had to light the rockets to save them. I understand, sweetheart. It was obviously an emergency situation for which these two cheaters are completely and utterly to I blame. I think, uh, excuse me, uh, I must get to my plane. Uh, sorry. Hey, Bloxburg, thanks a lot. And I'm really sorry about everything, okay? Hey, no big deal. And now for the award ceremony. The golden propeller goes to our Newtown inventor, the illustrious Eddie Edison. <laughs> and special thanks, ladies and gents, goes to our junior witch, B.B. Bloxburg, who gave up her chance of winning in order to help other contestants. Bravo, baby! <laughs> yes, well, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. It really is a beautiful piece. I just have to go and attach it. But, Eddie, what are you going to do? Mm, hang on. Nearly ready. Huh? Here. And now... <clears throat> Wonderful! What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to fly with the golden propeller. What? what? Really? <laughs> it works. It really works. <laughs> Huzzah! Hello? So, how is it? Wonderful, BB. It's much easier and much faster! Yippee! Yahoo! <laughs> 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 